What happens if you stop maintaining your aquarium? It's nice to have an aquarium, but you're already bored of changing the water every week, siphoning the substrate, cleaning the filter, and wiping algae off the glass. But you've heard that you don't have to do all these things. So what happens if you stop maintaining your aquarium? The answer to this question depends on your aquarium. Next, I will tell you which aquariums are affected by the stopping of regular maintenance and which aquariums do not need water changes, substrate siphoning, or even the use of a filter. If you stop taking care of your aquarium, the environment will gradually deteriorate, leading to harmful conditions for the fish and other inhabitants. Without regular maintenance, fish waste and uneaten food will accumulate, causing a buildup of ammonia and nitrites, which are toxic to aquatic life. The nitrogen cycle can be disrupted, especially if all beneficial bacteria colonies are disturbed during a complete cleaning, potentially leading to a spike in harmful substances. Over time, water quality will decline, resulting in cloudy water, excessive algae growth, and a higher risk of fish illness or death. In a heavily stocked tank, the situation worsens more quickly as waste products accumulate faster. While some systems like botanical-style blackwater aquariums with deep leaf litter beds may be more resilient to periods of neglect due to their natural decomposition processes and microbial balance, they are not immune to problems. Even in these systems, phosphate and nitrate levels can rise, and water chemistry may swing unpredictably if maintenance is completely abandoned. Ultimately, neglecting an aquarium can lead to a complete collapse of the ecosystem, making it unsuitable for life and requiring significant effort to restore. If you are unable to care for your aquarium, it is important to find a new home for the fish rather than abandoning them or flushing them down the toilet, which is inhumane and harmful to the environment. But still, many people say that they have aquariums in which no water changes are made and maintenance is minimal. And your fish tank can be one of this kind. Everything is in balance. Such an aquarium is an ecosystem. An aquarium ecosystem is a self-contained artificial environment that mimics natural aquatic systems on a smaller scale. It functions as a miniature ecosystem where living organisms and non-living elements interact in a balanced way to support life. This closed system includes fish, plants, invertebrates, microorganisms, water, substrate, light and other physical components, all working together through natural processes like energy flow and nutrient cycling. Unlike a simple fish tank with plastic decorations, a true aquarium ecosystem strives to replicate the interdependence seen in nature, where each component affects the others. When properly established, it can become a self-sustaining or low-maintenance environment that requires minimal external intervention. In order to have such a self-sustaining ecosystem aquarium, it must contain certain key components. The key components are biotic and abiotic. It sounds a little complicated, but in fact, biotic components are those that are alive, such as fish, plants, microorganisms, and invertebrates. All have a role. Fish are primary inhabitants that contribute to nutrient cycling through waste. Live plants perform photosynthesis, produce oxygen, absorb nitrates, and provide shelter. Microorganisms. Beneficial bacteria like Nitrosomonas and Nitrobacter are crucial for breaking down toxic ammonia into less harmful nitrates. Invertebrates, snails and shrimp help clean the tank by consuming algae and leftover food. 
Abiotic components are those that are not alive. These form the physical environment and include water, substrate, light, filtration and aeration systems. Water is the environment that sustains all life. Its chemical composition such as pH, hardness and temperature must be stable. Substrate, that is, gravel or soil that anchors plants and hosts beneficial bacteria. Light is essential for plant growth and influences fish behavior. Filtration and aeration systems help maintain water quality and oxygen levels. The interaction between biotic and abiotic elements defines the health and stability of the ecosystem. But what actually happens in an aquarium? It is known as the nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle is the backbone of a healthy aquatic ecosystem and begins when waste in the aquarium, such as that from fish and decaying matter, releases ammonia, which is highly toxic. However, beneficial bacteria convert ammonia into nitrites, which are also toxic. Another group of bacteria converts nitrites into nitrates, which are less harmful. Eventually, plants absorb nitrates as nutrients, or they are eliminated through other processes. An aquarium with a proper cycle prevents the accumulation of toxic substances and mimics the natural purification of water. But it is not just the nutrient cycle, it is also energy flow. Energy enters mainly through light for photosynthesis and food for fish. Plants produce oxygen and organic matter, which fish consume. Waste from fish and dead matter decomposes, returning nutrients to the water to be reused, thus closing the cycle. This continuous recycling reflects the same principles found in lakes, rivers, and oceans. To achieve such a self-sustaining ecosystem, it is necessary to pay attention to stocking density. Overcrowding leads to excess waste and stress. Plant to fish ratio. More plants mean better nutrient absorption and oxygenation. Sustainable practices. Use energy-efficient equipment, avoid overfeeding, and choose ethically raised fish. Monitoring. Regular checks of pH, KH, ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate levels ensure stability. Observe any changes and do not take radical measures or those that cause shock to the ecosystem. Advanced setups, such as Wallstad tanks, aim for near zero maintenance by maximizing natural processes. Even well-designed ecosystems face challenges. Algae blooms are caused by excess light, nutrients such as nitrates or phosphates, or other imbalances. Oxygen depletion can also occur. This can happen at night when plants breathe instead of photosynthesizing. Sometimes pH fluctuations can occur. Low KH can lead to unstable pH. Aquarium crashes, sudden failures caused by unnoticed imbalances in the ecosystem. I managed to create a nearly self-sustaining ecosystem. It is two years old and still looks like it has the power to survive. I don't change the water. I don't use a filter and I don't add fertilizers. But I got here gradually. I initially exchanged water and used a pump to circulate the water. However, I never used fertilizers or any type of chemicals that could kill beneficial bacteria. After the first year, I replanted the plants as many of them had died. If you are a member, in this video, I show all the steps I did to make this ecosystem. Based on my experience with this type of aquarium so far, I can say that self-sustaining ecosystems are achievable. But you have to relearn aquarium keeping. And remember, every ecosystem is unique.